Hey guys, it's Pastor Mike. I hope you guys are all doing really well today. It is June the 2nd, so we're going to be going through Mark chapter 2 today. Uh, I love this passage of scripture because it shows four friends uh, tearing a hole in a roof to lower their paralyzed friend down into the presence of Jesus to be healed. Jesus looks at this man and he says, son, your sins are forgiven. Um, the Pharisees question him. And then he turns and he goes, well, what's easier? Is it easier to heal this man of his sins or to heal his lameness? And so he instructs the man to get up and to walk, and he does. And so uh, there's so many things that stand out in this portion of scripture, and I just wanted to be able to go over them with you guys. Um, one of the first things that really stuck out to me is that Jesus establishes identity with this man. He refers to him as son. He doesn't establish his identity in his condition. He doesn't call him lame. He doesn't establish his identity in the things that he's done. He doesn't call him a sinner. He establishes his identity in the fact that he is a son of God. And so I love it because that's how Jesus looks at all of us. And that's how uh, we need to be looking at all of uh, each other, especially in this season. We need to be loving on one another like we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, the second thing is that I love that, you know, we've thrown out the word personal revival in this season. Um, I love it because I do think it's true. We get a glimpse of it even in this uh, text right here. We see that Jesus first heals the internal issue. He corrects the, the deep-seated, rooted issue of sin um, in this man's life. He forgives him. And then from the inside out, uh, this man is restored. His, his ability to walk is then given back to him. And I love it because Jesus loves us so much that he wants to take care of the things that are on the inside first. And when he does that, it is able to move out uh, from the inside to the exterior. Um, and so it's so cool that that's how Jesus works. Um, Jesus also, he didn't pick this man up. The way he healed him is that he gave him instruction to act on faith and to get up and walk. And I do believe that Jesus in the same way calls us as Christians and believers and people that are filled with the Holy Spirit to get up and walk in kingdom authority. Um, I think there's uh, it applies in that way because uh, you know in this season we've been crying out to God and God has been moving, God has been showing up. But uh, I do believe that God has also um, instructed us to to move on His behalf to since that we're uh, filled with His Spirit to bring His kingdom to earth. And so well, we have that amazing opportunity of giving God. Uh, to the people to share his love with him and to be a light in our communities and I think that is absolutely um, an amazing opportunity for us um, and then uh, lastly uh, I love it because his four friends they don't let anything get in the way of them bringing their friend and his brokenness into the presence of Jesus they don't say you know this man's been uh, been lame since birth so this is how it's always gonna be and they don't blame any circumstance that could have caused this man's lameness you know that it was his fault that he got uh, paralyzed in the first place um, actually the scripture doesn't say at all how this man was paralyzed it just says that he was and the, this uh, these four friends carry this man and his brokenness into the presence of Jesus to be restored and church I just want to challenge us is that if, is that what we're doing as as believers and people that are filled with the Holy Spirit are we bringing our friends fr uh, families our communities uh, and their brokenness are we carrying them into the presence of Jesus to be restored um, because that is one of the biggest opportunities as believers that we have because we're, we access you know, the presence of Jesus that we're able to bring others into that as well and that we don't let anything stop us from doing that. So um, I encourage you guys to go and read the text. There's so much that the Lord wants to speak through it. Um, and I'm praying that as uh, things start opening up and that we're able to start getting back into church that we would also remind ourselves like who are, are we able to reach out to to share the love of the gospel uh, with. So love you guys. I hope you guys are encouraged and we'll see you all soon.